very very hot balmy humid <laughs> summer um i guess it's not really night i guess you could call it evening it's around 7 p.m and i'm going out for a walk i just want to wander around in the sheep pasture and i thought that i would take y'all along with me and there's something that just the lord has just been ministering to my spirit and I don't have it all figured out yet Let's see if I can open this door and hold the camera with the other hand if I can I did it <laughs> um yeah but I don't have it all figured out yet so you know a lot of times I will go on a walk to come on get anyone come with me a lot of times I'll go on a walk to let the Lord minister to me and so I thought I would bring you along and as he, you know, shares with me, I will share with you. And you know, sometimes that's a very vulnerable, uncomfortable place to bring y'all along on my walks. Y'all know that because it's not all prepared or all figured out. Sometimes there's a seed of something there, but by the time I get going on the walk and talk, the Lord like just gives me something different and I have to be confident <laughs> enough that the Lord is going to lead me in what I say and then vulnerable enough to share with you what it is that he is uh, putting on my heart. So it's just something that's been in my spirit about um, just like what is your though he slay me moment and the Lord just kind of just dropped it question <laughs> like in my heart like um though he slay me like are you still gonna trust me Megan you know like what what at what point you know would you turn back from me you know at what point would you still say though he slay me if you know and so I guess I was just thinking about Job and a lot of times you know as Christians we think oh blessed is like having all these good things and I'm so blessed and I have, and I am and I have all these good things but the Lord is just kind of shaking up my idea of what I would consider blessed because if you look at it from a spiritual aspect Job was not only blessed with physical things but God actually picked him out to be tested, to be tried, you know, like who else on this earth do you know that God could say to Satan, consider my servant, they will not turn their back on me, no matter what. And, you know, Satan's like, oh, no, no, no. Well, you do not done all these wonderful things for this person. They're blessed. They have this. They have that. Of course, they won't turn their back on you. And then the Lord gives Satan free worm. No. Take those things away. Challenge. Test. Do whatever you can. That person will not turn their back on me. They will love me. They will serve me. They will worship me. And it's like, who do you know that God could trust? in that way you know and, and that person is truly truly blessed that their relationship with God would be deep enough to be tried to be tested to be dragged through the muck to the mire to the point where their friends are like oh uh-uh you must have done something wrong you must have done something to make God mad 
you know and if that is god the god you serve then you better just leave him alone if you hadn't done anything wrong you know then he doesn't really love you you know just leave him alone even if even job's own wife you know it's like just curse your god and die curse god and die you know and it's just like if everybody you know would say oh no 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 like god doesn't love you would you have a relationship deep enough even when you're going through something difficult to know that okay this is hard but god does love me god does trust me and even though he slay me even though he brings me to these difficult points of darkness and these very, very, very hard places. <laughs> like, you will, will you still trust him? Will you still worship him? And the Lord was just kind of putting that in my heart, you know, because <sighs> my relationship with God, um, I know that it needs to deepen and I know that I desire for it to deepen, you know, and to have that level of uh, intimacy with God. But sometimes that comes through hard things that Jesus might lead us through. Sometimes that comes through going through <laughs> darkness and difficulty and hardship and pain. And so the Lord, I, I don't know what he might be preparing me for. I know that um, this message is definitely for some of you that are going through difficult things. You know, be encouraged that though he slay you, he's just doing it because he trusts you. Because he loves you. Because he knows you and that may seem strange but the Lord is allowing you to be a light in a very very dark place if you're willing to hold on to that joy if you're willing to hold on to that peace if you're willing to dance in the midst of your storm and your difficulty and your darkness if you're willing to be that light when everything else around you seems like it's falling apart and it's just going wrong. If you're willing to be the light of Christ and the joy of the Lord is truly, truly, truly your strength, then you can be an encouragement to a lot of people. And I know... Um, I know that that may be difficult, but <sighs> I believe that God is going to not just give you the strength, but I believe it's already inside of you. You already have it. And I just want to be the voice that says, <laughs> rejoice. You know, I just want to be the voice that says, you're not alone. Like, literally, you think about Jesus. He was picked out. <laughs> he was the only begotten son. He is the only begotten son. But, like, the whole world, the sin of the whole world was on him. And he was picked for that. He, he chose that. He was destined for that. To make the world right again. He was wounded. He was bruised. He was talked about. He was spat on. It's like the worst things that you could ever think. Could ever happen to somebody. He went through those things. So when you go through challenges, when you go through difficult things, when people insult you, when people talk about you, when people mistreat you, who do you think you are in company with? 
you're in company with Jesus. And I know that if you are truly, truly serving the Lord, you are facing hardship. You're facing persecution. People don't understand you. You don't fit in their box anymore. Neither did Jesus. <laughs> but he still bore it all. Not just so that everyone could pat him on the back. But he bore it all out of love for us. Whether or not we were willing to receive it. Whether or not we're willing to be thankful for it or grateful for it. He just gave. He just gave out of love for us. And the response then is up to us. How we respond is up to us. And so I just want to encourage you all with okay what's your breaking point you know what is your though he slay me moment and are you gonna have the same answer as job in your heart are you gonna say though he slay me yet will i trust like is that going to be your response is your response going to be trust in your heart to god no matter what you might be going through that he sees, that he knows, that he hears, and that he is there to help whether it may feel like it at that moment or not. So I just wanted to encourage y'all. I don't know why the Lord is building that, though he slay me in my heart. But my desire is that it will grow. That seed of though he slay me will grow. And that I will trust him more and more and more. No matter what comes. So I just thank the Lord for these quiet walks. Because, you know, a lot of times things happen in my spiritual life. And I feel unprepared <laughs> for them. And, and what comes out of me is is not as mature <laughs> as I want it to be, y'all. You know, even though I've been a Christian for a long time, I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes what comes out of me in those pressure moments is not the maturity that I think should be there. And I don't realize it till after the fact. And so since I've been in the farm, I'm just thankful, you know, for these walks with the Lord. And I'm just hoping that they're preparing me spiritually and that I will be able, you know, to see the fruit. And that when I get in that, though he slay me moment, I will be able to say, yet will I trust him. And that is my prayer for all of you. That whatever the, though he slay me moment is for you, whatever the breaking point or what should be the breaking point is for you. That you would be able to dance, rejoice with joy, and have perspective. Knowing that you're in good company with Jesus Christ. That you're suffering as he suffered. And that you would trust the Lord through it all. That is my prayer for those of you that suck it to the end. That we will trust God more and more. And deeper and deeper. Amen. That was a good walk, y'all. I know the Lord is preparing us for what is ahead. So, it's IG Farms. It's all about God. I'll see you on the next one. Because